Baruch Hashem, today is day number 271 of our daily study of Ramam Sefer Mitzvahs. In the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we're continuing in Hilchas Mechira, the laws of buying and selling, chapters 25, 26, and 27. Our mitzvah today is just one negative commandment, negative 252, the prohibition against speaking hurtful words to a ger tzedek, a righteous convert. Now you might wonder, what does that have to do with the laws of buying and selling? Okay, so I'll refresh your memory. We, a few days ago, we had the prohibition against Ainos Dvarim, speaking hurtful words. Um, and I asked a similar question, what does this have to do with buying and selling? So I explained, and I'm going to explain it again today. We first dealt with something called Ainos Momain. Aino literally means to hurt or grieve, to bother. But Ainos Momain, aggrieving somebody in monetary matters means to cheat them on a business deal. And that came up as a prohibition in the context of the laws of buying and selling. And that makes sense why that would be related to the general subject matter here. Once we learned about a nos momen, cheating somebody in business. So then we also learned about a nos dvarim, hurting somebody with words. Then yesterday and the day before we learned about a nos Momain specifically against a ger tzaddik, cheating in business a righteous convert. And you may have wondered, by the way, if somebody cheats a righteous convert in business, is he doing one sin or two sins? And the answer is, if you were wondering, or maybe you're wondering now, it's two sins. Because there's the general protection that the righteous convert has like any other Jew. So it's prohibited to cheat him in business. And then there's the extra protection he has as a vulnerable uh, person, uh, which we explained yesterday. Um, so if you cheat him in business, it's actually two prohibitions. Now I'm going to explain to you that it actually, according to one commentary, at least it may be three prohibitions happening with that act. Um, and I'll come back to that in a minute. What does it mean? Three prohibitions. Okay. I'll come back to that after I explain what is today's mitzvah. So hurting somebody with words, but now this is a double protection, hurting specifically the righteous convert with words. Now, the simple classic meaning of this prohibition is, classic example, is saying to the convert something that reminds him of his past, even if it's done in supposedly, ostensibly a complimentary way, but it's really like calling him out. So you, you might say, oh, it's so wonderful that you've come now to worship God after having been raised worshiping idols. Oh, it's so nice that you abandoned the idolatry of your, of your ancestors. Well, it's really maybe, you know, his story to tell, not, not yours. And like, be quiet. So that's the classic example, example of a nos dvodim, hurtful speech against a convert. But really, it could be any hurtful speech. All right. Um, meaning you're not allowed to say that to anybody, but if you say it to a righteous convert, now it's a double whammy. Okay, but <laughs> I want to explain to you why cheating a righteous convert in business, meaning the prohibition that we learned about yesterday and the day before, could actually be a triple transgression, and that is because, at least according to the Ar Sameach, which is a work of commentary on the Rambam by Horav Meir Simcha of Dvinsk. The Ayr Sameach explains that if you cheat the righteous convert in business, not only is it a double prohibition, but it could be a triple because when you do so, God forbid, he's going to take it personally. He's going to think, the reason why you're trying to pull a fast one on me in business is because you don't respect me, you think less of me, and thereby you'll be actually also, God forbid, transgressing today's prohibition of hurting him with words, which doesn't have to necessarily be. You see here, that's a more liberal definition of hurting with words. It's uh, just hurting his feelings. So a very interesting prohibition. Um, it just underscores the care that we have to take with people's feelings. Um, something to think about, certainly, for all of us. Okay, that is our mitzvah for today. We will see you tomorrow for more, God willing.